Um, hello everyone. So from my last video, I got a lot of positive feedback um, and questions asking how I was able to get so many different internships and some of the resources that I used in order to do so. So I thought I'd take some time today to talk about the various resources that I use at every stage of the um, application process and some of the best resources I found um, through my uh, months of applications. And keep in mind, um, the things I'll be talking about today, uh, they're more so guided towards uh, newer students uh, just beginning their internship search, such as uh, freshmen or sophomores. And if you have been already applying for a while, you'll probably recognize most of the things I'll be saying today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and find it useful. All right, so let's first talk about like the best resources that I know about for technical interview practice. Um, so to start with, um, if you're not too familiar with uh, algorithms or data structures in general, uh, I'd suggest using a textbook such as uh, Grokking Decluttering Interview. And this is one of the uh, major textbooks that I heard like really good reviews about and I know a lot of people use. So I definitely think it's like um, the best one out there compared to other ones such as uh, Cracking Decluttering Interview or any other ones. And for Grokking, um, if you take a look at the website, um, their course content is structured in a way where every uh, section or chapter you cover a specific pattern such as um, in the first one it's sliding window and um, if you look click into the introduction uh, they'll give you um, some information about the algorithm where it could be used um, an example of it being used uh, the time complexity so it talks about like the various ways you can apply the algorithm um, how it can be used and afterwards, um, you can go to the various problems that it provides. And for the problems, they give you a problem statement where you can try solving it yourself. And afterwards, it tells you the solutions um, with very detailed pictures and steps. And not only do they give you just one solution, um, they also provide like better approaches as well. So you can analyze like the different ways of solving a problem and the trade-offs between like space and memory and complexity. Um, I myself, I haven't really used Grokking before since when I got into like practicing lead code, I had already like a decent understanding of algorithms and data structures. But what I did use a lot was problem lists. And this brings up um, Nico.io, which is currently my favorite problem list. And if you're not familiar with Nicode, um, he's like a YouTuber that posts lead code video solutions. And in my opinion, they're like the golden standard since they're uh, very fast, very quick, and he also does pretty good diagrams and drawings of and explanations of the problem. And as a website, um, the reason I like it so much is because um, not only does he like sort the problems, but like the various uh, sections or uh, topics that they're part of. Um, but if you like open a section, um, you can directly go to leco.com to try to do the problem yourself. And if you're stuck, he has video solutions for every single one of the problems on there. So you can just quickly watch one of his videos to understand solution or if you're too lazy to watch the video you can just uh, go directly to the code and see how uh, it's supposed to be solved so i've been going through the nico 150 since the start of summer so far and um, after finishing most of it i found that um, in my current technical interviews i definitely did uh, a lot better compared to before um, when i just randomly did the code problems and then another problem list um, that you can use or if you run out problems to do after doing uh, the nico 150 is the grind 75 and um, if you did some code before you might have heard of the term blind 75 which used to be a very popular problem list but essentially grind 75 is just an upgraded version of that list um, made by the same people of the blind 75 and for this um, problem list instead of uh, structuring the problems by their specific topics instead um, the website actually gives you a schedule on how to practice uh, the problems and over time, as you can see, um, the problems get harder. And um, at the end of the weeks that you choose, you should be able to do most of the hard problems without uh, too much of an issue. And uh, not only that, you can adjust um, the amount of problems you do. So if you increase the number of weeks, um, you can get all the way up to, uh, I believe, 169 problems. And um, so in my opinion, um, I do like Nico.io a little bit more than the Grind75 just because um, Nico has his own videos explaining the problems if you get stuck. But overall, uh, both these problem lists are really solid in my opinion. And they also do share a lot of the same problems. So 
choosing either um, you won't really go wrong and you'll definitely get a decent uh, or solid foundation in algorithms and data structures once you finish these problems. Alright, so now let's talk about um, where you can find application listings um, and where you can apply to companies or learn like which companies are currently hiring right now. And I think the best number one resource for this is the Pitt CSC uh, Summer 2023 Internships Repository. And this re repository is um, maintained by the University of Pittsburgh's Computer Science Club. And what they do is that a lot of people um, crowdsource like these applications to the repository. And for um, uh, each row, it lists like which company is currently hiring right now, the different locations that you can apply to, and also um, the different roles if there are any. And um, what's convenient about the repository is that it's being like updated very, very quickly um, whenever like an opening comes up, since there's so many people like um, crowdsourcing like these application links. And um, if you just like click a link to here, for example, you can just go directly to the application site. So overall, it's a really, really um, handy and convenient resource. Um, so big shout out to the people uh, maintaining this repository and um, contributing to it. Um, and if you want to look at sometimes the pull requests, you can see that um, people are continuously adding new internships. Um, uh, this person wants to add Quantcast in, um, which is a pretty good company as well. So uh, definitely a very solid resource. And apart from um, internship application links, um, if you're interested in like which company is currently hiring right now, I suggest you check out um, the CS Careers uh, tracking sheet. And essentially um, for this website, um, it lists like which companies are uh, currently hiring right now um, and like the various stages that people are at in the interview process with the current company. So for example, on in Amazon here, you can see that a lot of people have gotten online assessments. Uh, a few have been rejected. Many people are at their final stages and are a few of them, a few of them already have gotten offers. And um, yeah, so if you're interested in like the current stage of the process that people are at for a certain company, definitely check out this website as well. And it also lists a ton of websites, a ton of companies that people are applying to. And lastly, um, it's a little lesser known uh, website that I use myself, um, but it's called Hacker News. And for this website, uh, every new month, there's a thread made by a moderator where uh, employees of companies uh, can post like listings for new positions. And in general, um, Hacker News isn't really for big companies. Um, it's mostly for uh, early stage startups to smaller startups. Um, there's occasionally a few mid-sized companies here, but if you command F the word interns, um, you can see that some of the companies are looking for interns. Um, so if you're interested in like a smaller startup based um, company, definitely check out um, Hacker News. And um, furthermore, uh, if you go to the top here, um, you can see that there's a part where you can, uh, who wants to be hired? So if you click that thread and open it, you can see that you can put your own information here, um, talk about your background, link your uh, resume or whatever. And um, very likely a few, a few people will reach out to you, see if you're interested in any positions. Um, so I myself used this uh, feature before and I definitely got uh, quite a few responses from a lot of small uh, startups asking me if I'm interested in joining theirs. Yeah, so overall, um, uh, the repository for application links and seeing which companies just released openings, the tracking website for knowing which companies are currently hiring and what stage people are at, and finally, uh, Hacker News for smaller startups. All right, so let's say you got an interview and you really want to prep well for it by doing like company specific questions or just learning more about how the company does its interview process. And for that, um, I have three main resources. Um, the first one is Blind, where it's essentially like a forum, mainly only uh, run by like software engineers or they like post uh, about like the industry and stuff. But there's also like a lot of posts talking about like interview processes and questions asked. So for example, um, if I search up like um, Google Onsite, um, you can quickly see that there's like around 5,000 posts talking about like the different onsite experiences that people have gotten, um, like how hard the problems are, uh, what they expected. This person found it kind of easy. This, for, this person bombed it. So definitely uh, a lot of different experiences that you can look into. 
Um, apart from blind, um, there's Glassdoor as well, which I'm pretty sure you guys know of. Um, if we go to like Acuna Capital and want to know like the questions for that, we can quickly search up like intern for intern role. And um, you can see that like some of the experiences that interns have gotten, um, they also talk about like some of the questions and more specifics, such as Python data structures, uh, monitor difficulty, um, identify sequences, um, behavioral rigorous, yeah. And um, to be honest, Blind and Glassdoor are um, pretty good resources, but I think the best one is um, the CS Careers Discord uh, server. In this server, um, it's mostly filled with like uh, students studying computer science and looking for internships. Um, I mainly lurk around in like the interns section um, for summer. People post like their processes, which um, this is where like the website, uh, the tracking website gets like uh, its information from. So these are for like the different cycles. And there's also text channels as well, where people like talk about like different stuff, like this person's asking about the OA. And if, everyone, if anyone has done the OA before, um, they'll like talk about the experience, like maybe what problems to expect and the difficulty as well. But I think one of the most like uh, important parts of this Discord of this Discord is the LeetCode bot. So if you scroll down to interview prep, there's a channel called LeetCode bot. And what you can do is type something like slash uh, explanation bar problems. Um, for example, if you're saying for Amazon, you can this for Amazon and it lists every single problem that Amazon has been asking um, recently for the past six months. So as you can see here, robot bound in a circle um, is the most popular problem. Uh, asked by Amazon so far and you can go visit the legal uh, the legal link and if you scroll down to the companies um, normally it doesn't tell you but with this bot um, it does so definitely something to use uh, to your advantage and other than that um, there's not too much else you can really use for learning more about like what companies ask um, so I just say I'd say to like if you have any questions just ask either people on blind um, uh, or the people in the Discord server on their experiences with uh, interviews. So if you want to learn more about a company such as how much interns get paid, um, what their benefits are, or maybe just in general, some information about the company, there's two main websites I'd recommend for that. Uh, the first one is levels.fyi, and it's an insanely useful website because for like almost every company that offers an internship, it would list like the salaries, um, and also tells you like what you can expect to make um, if you go to a certain company and also what benefits you get as well. Um, so it's really good for like telling you which companies you want to target. Um, as you can see, the top ones are all uh, quant firms. So they definitely pay the most by far. And then if you want to learn more about like a company in general that you haven't heard of, uh, I'd recommend Crunchbase. So if we go to Crunchbase, for example, it basically has like information about uh, almost every single company and I use this especially for like smaller startups to see like what stage they are in their startup or what their valuation is. So for example, um, one recent startup that uh, I've been looking into was Retool. So if I search real, Retool right here real quick, um, you can see it pops up. I can see that it's a Series C startup, 140 million funding, um, some profiles, and just learn more about the company that way. So usually I use Crunchbase as a way to evaluate like smaller companies or just companies I haven't heard of in general. And I use levels to see if I actually want to apply, if the salary range fits like what I'm looking for as well. All right, and here are some miscellaneous uh, resources that you might find helpful. Uh, the first one is Jake's resume, if you haven't heard of it already. It's a very popular uh, template for CS majors. And the reason why it's so good or popular is because that it can pass resume parsers really well and um, you won't have to worry about your resume being parsed incorrectly or in a bad manner. So I definitely recommend either using his template or doing some, something similar, which is what I did, where instead of having like technical skills at the bottom, I have it at the very top. But other than that, it's essentially my resume is the same as his. And then um, one last piece of advice is that I would recommend everyone to read um, Welcome to the Coding Interview, You Suck. Um, all, although the name's kind of funny and silly, I think it's a really, really good guide. Like especially the mistake section where um, it talks about why you suck and like the uh, most obvious mistakes that people make during their interviews or just in general. Um, I definitely learned a lot from reading it. And uh, overall, the whole guide is actually uh, pretty accurate in my opinion and covers a lot of the caveats that uh, people usually make, not only in their interviews, but just in general. So 
definitely give it a good read. Um, you'll definitely appreciate. Uh, it'll definitely be worth your time as well. Um, other than that, I guess um, there's not too many other websites that I use. Um, so um, if you have any websites that you use and that not other people, not much people know about, make sure you link it below. Um, let's c contribute back to community. But other than that, um, yeah, thanks for listening and good luck in your applications.